And here we go. I'm still haven't quite gotten to the point of changing clothes yet. But as you can see, I'm still really, really enjoying these shoes so much. There's one thing I have not done in regards to these shoes to show off what I like the most about them. Now, there are those that may disagree with me, but you can see the inside of them again. Let me turn the shoe over and see from the side. This is a sturdy shoe, you gotta admit that. But there's a real treat, and these are showing some wear. These come with full leather soles and full 100% leather heels with the V-cleat, which is considered a danger to some who don't know how to walk in them very well. But for me, personally, I very much like this kind of sole and leather heel. Reason being, they make a pretty nice sound when you walk in them, especially when you can see the V cleat as it uh, strikes the pavement or the towel floor. It makes a pretty nice noise to it. Nothing really like having full metal plates on a shoe. They really make some noise. It's just a nice soft uh, sound that's just highly noticeable and gives a nice commanding sole, or just a nice commanding sound of walking them. As you can see, these are pretty solid leather soles. They have a wood grain to them, but they're so tough and durable, the brown ones. I've had them in a similar condition when I first started, but even so, they're still a bulletproof condition. I had the heels replaced with a half rubber, half sole, or so half rubber, half leather sole, or not sole, but heel, instead of the full heel with the V plate, partially because it's a little expensive to uh, replace them. But these are in the brown floor, the royal floor shaman pearls that you've seen before. They're particularly special shoes to me, as these will be also. Most of all, you notice they keep a very, very nice shine. The previous owner had them, shined them up, and I just did a touch-up shine last night just using uh, cream polish. But I think I'll be keeping these really nice and shiny as long as I can have them. There'll be other shoes I wear along the line. But these are going to be go-tos. Just as much as my McNeils, I've known you guys have seen several videos of my McNeils. I would need to do another video again, simply because they're favorite shoes of mine. As these are soon to become go-tos also. But you can see they're pretty solid, they're pretty good. And I really don't mind showing them off to you guys. Not at all. Imagine myself uh, pressing on a long brake pedal on these guys. Mm. First and foremost, my real true love with these shoes is watching them on the pedal, driving, uh, pumping a brake that could be really awful and not working too well or it goes to the floor. Wouldn't want it happening personally, but I personally like the look of it. Or you see in this one, there's a flooring in the gas a great deal. Oh, I know. I'm just talking a lot about shoes. I just really got to get to the point where I'm going to go upstairs. But right now, I'm just uh, enjoying these shoes. And I just wanted to take a moment really, truly, truly, truly show off the biggest reason of all I like the Floor Shaman Imperial, especially the originals. I know a lot of guys want to eliminate the leather heels and V plates because they're dangerous on the floor. But really, I never had a problem. The first time I wore a pair of shoes of these kinds of uh, heel plates and leather heels you're seeing went on a floor in a grocery store. And unfortunately, I slipped a little bit, almost fell, which is not good. And I realized by that time that really needed just for me to walk more carefully in them. And ever since, I never had a problem. I didn't just give away a little bit, but I'd catch myself before then. 
But still, if you walk in these carefully, they'll do you right. Just a matter of, uh, you know, not moving such fast steps, I guess. But still, I rather enjoy these shoes and will definitely enjoy these a lot more in the years to come, in the years or say in the weeks to come. I can't wait to go to the car show. I'm probably going to wear these guys. It's because by then they'll be nice and broken in and really formed to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of showing off my well, like getting well worn soles and heels and most all the V plates. Like I say, they do make a nice clicking sound when they go on the pavement or even on a good floor. It says Lord Shop Imperial down below. You can see there's some good wear. But these are really well built shoes. They were built with quality back then. This shoe is out now, made in another country, and they're not as good. They look like these, but the quality is just simply not there. I'm sorry to say. That's not a good thing either. I noticed though, I do need to do the sides of these shoes real soon with uh, edge dressing, just to keep them looking good. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed.